Hello and welcome to Red Gaming Tech for your daily dose of your latest gaming news, myself, Marta. Today is the 16th of January and I have some interesting news to you today regarding Apple as they must refund at least $32.5 million to parents whose children made in-app purchases on iOS devices without their consent. And this was announced by the FTC just yesterday. Now, according to the FTC, Apple did not take sufficient steps to ensure that purchases purchases made by the children were knowingly authorised by the account holder, that being the parents. And they took particular issue with the App Store's policy of letting users enter their password once for a single purchase and then you'd be able to continue to make purchases through a 15 minute window. So basically what could happen is that a child would say to a parent, can I just buy this one item on my game and then they go alright then and enter their password and maybe they don't realise that for the next 15 minutes their child can purchase whatever they want and perhaps the child will purchase these things without really thinking in their head that they're spending real money, it's entirely possible and the FTC said that tens of thousands of parents complained to Apple about unauthorised in-app purchases made by their children including one consumer whose daughter reportedly spent $2,600 in Tap Pat Hotel and Apple must contact affected users and refund at least, as I said previously, 32.5 million in purchases within the next 12 months or surrender the remaining balance to the FTC. Now, this settlement also means that Apple must change its in-app purchase policies to make it more difficult for children to make purchases without their parents' permission. However, Apple CEO Tim Cook said in a letter to employees, which was posted helpfully by 9to5Mac. The firm is already taking steps to address the FTC's issues before settling the complaint and is in the process of reimbursing 37,000 claims. And he said, quote, It doesn't feel right for the FTC to sue over a case that had already been settled. To us, it smacked double jeopardy. However, the consent decree the FTC proposed does not require us to do anything we weren't already going to do. So we decided to accept it rather than take on a long and distracting legal fight. To be honest, while it's a very good thing that Apple is going to be changing their policies, and if I'm going to be honest, I think the 15-minute window thing is something that needs to be gotten rid of as a first priority. So basically you have to enter your password every time, and but perhaps some other... Well, obviously some other things layered on top to make it more difficult but to be honest I think education is also needed for parents who might be just that little bit technophobic or just don't know all that much about games or phones or anything I just feel like they probably don't even realize you can just make a separate account for your child that has does not have any card details attached to it so it would be physically impossible for your child to make any purchases without you sitting there and going okay I'm gonna do it this once and then deleting the card details or what have you now both Apple and the parents are to blame but the developers also have a sharing guilt if you ask me the fact that you can even spend over two thousand dollars in a free-to-play game that is heavily marketed towards children just that doesn't sit right with me I'm sorry um, that you can't argue that that's a good thing or that you weren't trying to take advantage of children who don't know any better because if you weren't then you kind of did a poor job because that's exactly what you've done you know you've got a kids game very much a kids game and you've got the ability to spend ridiculous amounts of cash I'm not talking like ten dollars fifteen dollars you know that's annoying sure if your kids spent fifteen dollars in some random game on their iPhone or whatever but the fact that you can actually spend that amount of money is ridiculous so there also needs to be a change on the development side so it kind of has to be a coming together of people's now to be honest I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon I'm just saying personally more education for the parents so they just know that it's actually pretty easy to make sure that on their end you know their child doesn't do anything silly while they're just popping to the shop for five minutes or whatever because unless you want to be like a bloodhound just sitting there looking over your child's shoulder constantly, you are going to miss something because they have, they have an opportunity to buy something if they know your password or whatever. So more education for parents. Apple needs to change a lot more than just a 15 minute window. It needs to be a lot more difficult for them to do this. I don't know how exactly off the top of my head. Um, and to be honest, I think that it's, the fact that these games are even allowed to exist, well, you know, it just... Something needs to be done on the development side, but I don't see that happening, unfortunately. Still, at least this is a positive step in the right direction. We'll take one step forward over no steps at all. 
So let's just be happy that something is happening. Anyway, that is me done for this video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.